Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you're new here, like I said, welcome. Please, I would love if you could subscribe and click the notification bell. And also follow my Instagram, which is at Hands and Lose, for all skincare, makeup, all of that jazz. So, um, I am going to be reviewing a brand today. This is new to what I usually do. It's not new to what I usually do, but I've been getting so many requests to do this so I wanted to start a new sort of series and reevaluate my channel and what I wanted to do and um, I didn't want it to just be me flinging on a product and going yeah this is nice is it for this person is it for that person I really wanted to delve in and I was influenced by so many other skincare bloggers makeup bloggers all of that so yeah I wanted to give my certain twist on it and um start to like properly properly advising you guys obviously I'm not specialist in any way however or a dermatologist however I do have a little bit of knowledge here and there and I am gaining a lot of knowledge from YouTube Instagram research all of that so yeah I really wanted to give you my little take on what works for me my skin is normal to combination and um, it can get quite dry it can get quite oily I'm in an oily phase right now I think it's due to the weather but I do have very normal skin I do tend to get acne breakouts not acne breakouts so but I can have sessions where there's tons of them and then I have to treat them and so forth but yeah as you can see from today's title we'll be reviewing the new boots glow range from boots like I said and um, so they did kindly send me over this isn't sponsored in any way shape or form I'm just doing this video because you guys requested this this product was given in PR this is a PR package there is no affiliation to this there is no obligation to post or anything like that they just send this over and I tried it and um, I have tried the full range that we have going on we have literally all eight items in their range now to be honest a lot of you guys are probably not going to like what I say. And loads of you guys are so excited for me to do this. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to start by reviewing each product. I was going to do the whole using it on camera. But I just thought I'm really... Should I be using it if I don't actually enjoy it? Is there a point? In my personal opinion, no. Um, I want to go through each product and review them for you. Textures, all of that stuff. But to be honest, like overall, I was a little bit disappointed with this range. Not that I didn't like it. I just generally, in my personal opinion, found it a little bit pointless to me. I tried the Boots Vitamin C range, which was the first range they sent me. So if you want me to do a review on that, I did enjoy that. So let me know and I'll be happy to. I actually don't have all the products because I have finished them. But yeah, I have all of these from the Boots Glow range. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the packaging for the Boots Glow range we have going on right here. So this like is pastel baby pink colour with that glow vibe. So the whole idea of this range is to boost your glow. It's, it says here that um, Boots Glow is an affordable skincare range to refresh and revitalise your routine. The capsule collection features eight glow enhancing products suitable for all skin types. From nourishing creams to cleansers and a hydrating mist and a must have tonic. Um, so yeah, I got all eight. They are relatively affordable. I think every single product in this range is £4, which is great at price point. You do get a decent amount of product for what you're paying for. However, in my personal, I'm just going to say it right out and plainly. I feel this has done absolutely nothing for my skin. Which doesn't mean it's a bad thing, however, I would be more annoyed if the price tag was at £15 per item. That's what I'm saying. Um, so I'm going to go through each product. I There were some products where I just had to stop using just because my skin did not like it at all. So the first product that we have, which is probably my favourite out of all of them, is the Glow Cleansing Oil. Now this is to cleanse the skin to give your, like, your face a healthy glow. This for me, the whole idea I want to focus on is did it make my skin glow? Absolutely not. This was this is a cleansing oil. Um, I think one of my main problems is I'm I do not mind fragrance. I prefer not to have it in stuff like serums and moisturizers because fragrance can become quite sensitizing to the skin over periods of time. Or if you had sensitive skin, you probably want to avoid that. But um if it's something in a cleanser or something, I really don't mind because you're washing it off. But these products are so heavily fragranced, it actually put me off using them. Like, I looked at them and I went, the reason why I'm not going to use you today is because you're too heavily fragranced. Now, some of you may love that, but it's a nice scent, but it's too overpowering. It's just too much. And I realized that because when I then went through the, the ingredients, the perfume section, the fragrance was very high up in the ingredient list, which I'm like... Mm. So yeah, so we do have some like mineral oils, olive oil, sunflower oil, which is really, really lovely. This is gentle on the skin. It, to be honest, it has that baby oil, Johnson's baby oil style. So I don't, I feel as if I'm putting that on my face, which I don't like because it doesn't have my usual texture of the oil that I enjoy using. This does have very much a baby Johnson's oil. I don't really want that on my face. 
that's my personal opinion it's not bad i have think i've only got about a quarter left i think i'm around down here so i have been using it quite a lot it does take off my makeup not effectively but to a standard i probably should go in with my cellar water first to remove my makeup then going with this as my first step to my cleansing because personally if i use something else like my um dhc cleansing deep cleansing oil that will take off everything but this one just won't to be honest but yeah it's so heavily fragranced in my personal opinion it's too much for me now i'm not a fragrance bunny i don't really care i just don't i prefer it not in my serums my eye creams my moisturizers i don't mind it in my cleansers however um this was just too much it's nice I just feel as if you just want a quick cheap cleansing oil then you're going to want to go for this. It's very basic ingredients but overall it's not something that if someone was to go to me, hey Hannah would you recommend this? Probably not. There's probably another oil that I would suggest using. Next we have the cleanser. Now I'm going to be honest, I know this sounds like I'm really hating on the line, I'm not. I don't, it's okay, it's not great. Um, it's great for the price. I'm looking at the price tag and I'm going okay this is different for the price but if I was to say if you have any skin concerns you're probably not going to want to go for this range at all. I don't really think it's glowy. I don't really think it's brightening. I know that it's a lot of these claim to be quite brightening. In my personal opinion, I haven't found that at all. And I have used this for quite a while um, since the one I showed you when I received the products. But this is the Glow Cleansing Stick right here. If it's going to focus on. I, I still cannot master how to get my camera to focus. So this is the glow cleansing stick that we have going on. This melts away makeup and nourishes skin. Now it, the reason why I found a real struggle using this, um, apparently you're supposed to twist up the stick, rub it over the skin in circular motions, splash a little bit of water on your face and then massage it until it lathers. It didn't lather for me, which normally I do with like oil based um, things. This is very much feels like an oil based stick solid cleanser um a bit like a glue it doesn't feel like a glue it's very just like dry it's not oily on the skin which i didn't mind i preferred it over the cleansing oil however this didn't cleanse my skin um not that i was aware of my skin felt still like when i went in with my usual toner to then see whatever dirt was on there was a ton of muck and um, it didn't i haven't used it to melt away makeup i do feel as if this is the solid version of this so personally if i was to say get one or the other get this one i don't think this is too heavily fragranced no it smells like sweets i can't really describe which sweet it smells like but it smells like a sweet maybe i'm wrong i can't remember the actual scent but it's when I've looked at the ingredients, the ingredients are very, very similar to both of them. So they seem as if they are this not the same product, but one solid, one's liquid. Would you rather the liquid? I prefer liquids over solids just because you're going to have bacteria smudged all over the stick. So I prefer just to go in with the oil. We move on to the toner. Now the toner, I didn't wasn't a huge fan of i think this might have broke me out now normally if you used to break out due to products sometimes you can look at them and go have they got ahas in have they got bhas have they got phas have they got retinol in it because retinol all of those things they bring the gunk to the surface of your skin and then you have breakouts but if something that and then like a few days later they quickly disappear but if you was to have something that didn't have any of those things and you was to start breaking out you're more likely having a reaction to the product obviously I'm not a specialist I do not know straight like on point I will educate myself but yeah from that I think this broke me out massively yeah, so this personally I didn't like the texture sometimes a lot of people like myself I like the feel of skincare I like how it feels on me right as well as how it's going to treat my skin I just think the whole vibe of this is very like it left a tacky feel on my hands when I, when I then went applied it onto my skin. I don't really like to use cotton buds or tonics. I don't again. I don't really see too much of a point in using this. It's again. It's heavily fragranced. It contains a ton of fragrance, even the first few ingredients. Now, the only thing that I could sub and put my hands up to, if you're looking for something and you want to start off with basic, powerful ingredients, is this does contain niacinamide. Now, I'm a huge niacinamide fan. For those that don't know, if you don't know what niacinamide is, I will put some information on the screen about niacinamide. It's a great ingredient. I use it daily. Niacinamide is great at minimizing pores, helping with fine lines and wrinkles 
chemicals and helping with i think it's oil production as well great at like combating blemishes and things like that so nice and normal is a product that i love great for anti-redness and things like that which this does contain but i don't know what it is it's just a weird texture on my hands um i had tried it once on a cotton pad and it didn't it didn't feel like my skin was hydrated or nourished or anything like that it's not a bad product if you want to start on something simple i don't really feel this is a great representation of what a tonic or a toner would be but again if you just want to get it for the fun for a cute little instagram video then hey i would say get it but personally if, is it going to do anything dramatic to your skin no in my personal opinion other people may find it different you can obviously go and look at other reviews now we're going to move on to the glowy essence for glowy complexion now again it is something about this range that the texture is just not my jam but how it feels it just feels like a like honey mixed with cast oil mixed with baby oil it's the formulation of it of how it feels on my skin is just not what i was going for again another thing that was like bugging me especially for things like this that like fragrance was quite high in the ingredients list there is quite a lot of fragrance in this and i can tell because as soon as i open the bottle it literally smells like a perfume bottle that was i don't mind if there's a little little tiny scent of oh that's fresh but all of these are so heavily fragranced and i just feel like a lot of these products in general they all have similar or the same ingredients there's never really one that contains oh ascorbic acid or one contains ahas if i want my skin to glow i'd love a little bit of glycolic acid or a little bit of salicylic acid or something or vitamin c for that glowy feel i know they have their vitamin c range but there's nothing wrong with putting a little bit of vitamin c into their usual glowy range but just in general this contains nice and mighty again but the whole idea of it glowing i don't i didn't see that with my skin um my skin actually felt a little bit dry afterwards so i did have to go in with a different moisturizer as well i had to switch up between the moisturizing cream which i'll show you in a minute but overall i wasn't mad at it just i was a little bit disappointed because i did expect that like the idea i got from this was that it's going to give me like really glowy nourished hydrated second skin glass vibes and i just didn't get that and that was why i was disappointed it wasn't terrible would i recommend it probably not but um yeah i was quite really disappointed in it to be honest now let's move on so we next have the eye cream now the eye cream out of everything i think i mentioned that the cleansing oil might be my favorite but i think this I think the eye cream was my favourite. Another thing that I like about the um, range is that it has a 20 month, 24 month ex like expiry date. So you can use it for 24 months. The only thing that I wish that they didn't include on the front is that it's brightening. This didn't brighten my under eyes at all, but kept my uh, uh, but kept my under eyes hydrated and nourished, which I will give a thumbs up to. Now it contains shea butter, which I'm all for, and um, glycerin, which I'm all for, um, cocoa seed butter, which I'm all for. Um, I don't think this one contained fragrance, I think, not, or if anything, a, not too much fragrance. This isn't as scented as the other one. Like, this is probably the only one where I go, yeah, would I pick this up? If I had to recommend anything, if you want a nice, if you've got dry under eyes, this might be really, really nice for you. But yeah, in general, I was just a tad wasn't disappointed in this one actually i wasn't disappointed i was like yeah it could be a little bit nicer like it could contain niacinamide which i thought for an under eye niacinamide is great for dark circles for pigmentations so i just thought maybe it could contain that but it didn't so i was a little bit disappointed like the niacinamide was picking and choosing where it was going to be in the product a bit, little bit of vitamin b would have been great in this and i would have been sorted or a little bit of vitamin C or something like that just for the under eyes just to boost that brightening and hydrating effect but yeah I would say it is hydrating and nourishing because of the shea butter and all that but yeah I would have enjoyed a few more ingredients but again it's four pound but yeah next have the moisturizing cream which soothes and hydrates now i agree with that it did soothe and it did feel like it was hydrating on the skin and um, again this contained the second ingredient is niacinamide which i said a massive thumbs up to glycerin is another one um, it contains shea butter also but again it is quite heavily fixed with fragrance which was what i was like for the rest of the day i don't really want on my skin i don't mind fragrance and cleansers in my personal opinion but i sometimes depending if the fragrance is right at the bottom and it's not really too scented i really don't mind but the idea of having it quite high up and it is heavily fragranced i was like no but this did remind me the whole all the textures did remind me of johnson's baby oil but it didn't obviously smell like that but yeah um i wasn't hugely mad about this i would probably use this on my body rather than my face because obviously i don't mind my fragrance on my body i just don't want it on my face 
but yeah again um I, I like that it had nice cinnamide in it that was something i was like okay cool i'm happy with that it's nice um sometimes i don't really find nice cinnamide too much in my moisturizer so this was a little nice thing but yeah i didn't have any reaction to this this one's nice this one's another one i'd probably say pick up but if you don't like fragrance in your moisturizers like me then I would probably stay away from it. Glow Gel Mask for healthy looking and intense hydration. Now, personally, this was one of the products where I was like, it's actually done little to nothing for my skin. Um, I did try this a few times and it does have like, uh, it doesn't feel like a layer or anything like that. You wash it off and whatnot. I didn't have, didn't, I didn't have any errors in application. I didn't feel weird on my skin. Just generally straight afterwards, my skin just felt a little bit dry and tight. So I was like, oh, this isn't... Normally when I put on a gel mask, I expect it to be hydrating and then to sort of glide off the skin. But it's sort of like dried down. Looks not like dried down like a clay mask, but just dried down like as if you were meant to peel it off. But it, I don't know. I don't know, it just had a weird feeling to it. I just, I don't know if I would end up using this again. I might use it for an Instagram video, but would I recommend it? I just don't know. Like, I'm in a fence where I'm like, did this actually do much for me? No, because both the times I used it, my skin felt a little bit tight afterwards and wasn't glowy. I think the idea of what I'm trying to say here in overall is that I didn't get anything glowy from it. If I was to do the whole routine, I could just imagine how much fragrance I was putting on my skin. So I was just like, yeah, this is not... For me now the last product which i've only used a few times i'll be honest um i'm not a huge mist fan i like to use a mist if i need to freshen up the day with my makeup but in general i tend to stay away from mist unless it's got like spf in i would have liked the glow mist to have like an spf vibe to it because you are hydrating you are giving a glow this is more of a daytime rather than a nighttime because i prefer to like protect in the day and then repair at night this would have been a nice range if it had like maybe an spf in or like in the cream, a little bit of like SPF, even if you just wanted to do a cheeky small 15. And I think the main product, the main ingredient that resonates throughout this range is niacinamide. But again, it's the fragrance. It's, it's, it's too much for me personally. But yeah, I didn't find an issue with this. It was just a general spray. This did add the slight glow vibe, like if I use it now for you. It did add, like it's just... I feel as if there's just so much fragrance, but it did, it did add the nice glow vibe to my skin. Obviously, my skin was a little bit glowy before, but yeah, it did add a nice little glow to my skin. This is nice if you just want a little fresher. The spritz is nice as well. I love the packaging, but yeah. Overall, I was like, mmm. I was a little bit disappointed. I wasn't really getting the glow that I was expecting. I was expecting that glass skin, cheap but really effective skincare, but yeah, on baseline, it was like... There are other products that I would probably recommend that could do the same thing. Maybe a little bit, like a few pounds more expensive. But yeah, overall, I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling it. I haven't, ever since I tried it out and I'd say to myself, I know this works for what and if it does work or not. I've just not used it. I've not gravitated towards it. If I was to suggest recommending, I'd probably recommend the vitamin C range just because that's more of a targeted skincare rather than, I think, the glow idea. It's lovely, but I just didn't glow from it. Um, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It was okay. Like, even now as I'm breathing in the rest of the spray that's around my room, it's getting, like... <sighs> You no, know, you know what I mean? Like when you get fragrance in your throat, but yeah, this was just to me. I think the biggest off put was put off was it's so fragrance. And I tend to not mind fragrance products. I tend to show you a lot of products in general that contain fragrance. Mm -hmm. I tend to stay away from it if it has it in serums, moisturizers, and that whatnot. But if it's in a cleanser, I don't mind. I like that sort of feeling. Um but this was so much. Overall, I've said you my thoughts. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was seen with a bit of a downer. I don't normally so I don't really think this is shady. I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just saying for me, it just didn't do anything for my skin, which is fine. Some products don't. It might work for you. But yeah, I'm sort of giving you an idea of what the products are like, how they were on my skin. I didn't have any like, oh my God, never using this again issue other than the stick because the stick generally just did nothing. My skin didn't lava, didn't emulsify or anything. I put quite a lot of the stick on my face. And on dry skin, I tried it on wet skin. Wet skin didn't work, obviously, because it's oil-based. But then I tried it on dry skin. That did not work. I tried to lather it. It wasn't lathering. I tried to emulsify. It wasn't any of that. So I was like, this is just not working for me. Out of the cleansers, I probably advise the cleansing oil. Eye cream, I would like for you to try if you could. But yeah, they're £4. It's a fun little thing. Am I going to get glowing skin from it? Me, personally, no. 
probably maybe someone like you could i don't know but yeah i just thought i'd give you my thoughts if i was to say anything try the vitamin c range the vitamin c range by boots this is really really lovely if it's gonna focus ever yeah, this range right here is lovely from Boots. I would suggest recommending this. If you want me to review this, I will do. I tend to use the eye cream that I gel quite um, often. So yeah, that's great. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if it's something that you're going to get your hands on. Let me know if you've tried it and you have different opinions because I'd love to hear that. And educate me. Put some little facts in the, in the comment section. I don't mind. But yeah, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a specialist. I'm hoping to become those things in the future. But yeah, also follow my Instagram, which is at Hansen News, if you have any questions and things like that. But I love you all. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.